everyone and welcome back to Cooking with Alethea. Today I'm going to be making soup. Yes, you heard it right. Soup in the almost summertime, springtime, ending of spring rather. But I'm going to be making my springtime soup today. I thought of this recipe, so I would like to share it with you guys. Um, I would like to say before I get started, uh, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, go ahead and hit that button, subscribe button, and subscribe to this channel. I like to make healthy meals or try to make healthy meals, incorporate healthy recipes into our everyday living. So, um, like I said, get back to the soup. I'm going to be making springtime soup today, um, which consists of uh, cubed uh, chicken breasts, like cut up in cubed pieces, and I seasoned it ahead of time. That's been in the fridge. We're going to have um, green onions in it, regular onion, just a little bit of regular onion, but more so of the green onion. We're going to have fettuccine noodles. Instead of rice, I'm doing something different. I'm using fettuccine noodles. We're having, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to put in there carrots, mushrooms, peppers, my mixed peppers, and cabbage. And we're going to have something uh, a little different in our soups that we're not used to putting in there is a zest of a lemon. My seasonings are garlic powder, parsley, oregano, pepper, Celtic salt, Italian seasoning, and for the broth I'm using vegetable broth today. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with this recipe. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm not going to do much talking during this um, video today. So I'm just going to show you hands on what I'm going to be doing. And I'm going to give you a once over look of all the ingredients and everything that I'm using today. I'm going to be frying up my um, chicken pieces because I like my chicken and my soups to have like a brown color to them. Now you don't have to do that. You can just put everything in the pot and go ahead and, you know, simmer it down. But um, before I do that, I like to, you know, brown up my pieces just a little bit. So I'm going to, I have my uh, cast iron pot on here now, warming up with some canola oil in it, just a little bit of canola oil. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, fry up my um, chicken here. This is the chicken breast here. I'm going to put this into, we start with clean hands. I'm going to put this into my oil here now that you hear. Always let your oil get hot because uh, you like that happy sizzle sound. That helps your pieces to fry up and brown evenly. So I'm going to do that real quickly for you guys. <clears throat> then I'm going to show you the rest of the ingredients that I'm making, that I'm putting into the soup today. Alright. So that's that. I'm going to show you guys uh, all the ingredients in here now. So we have our chicken cooking in the cast iron pot here on medium heat. Like I said, we have our fettuccine noodles, home style fettuccine noodles. We have our ingredients here, the garlic, like I said, parsley and all its family members. We have our cord for the camera in the phone. We have our vegetable broth, Celtic salt, the green onion, zest of one lemon, one fourth onion chopped up, fettuccine noodles. We have our mixture of uh, mushrooms, mixed peppers and carrots. And I'm going to bring over the cabbage that we're going to use in here. I used um, half of a half of a head of, of cabbage, which is one fourth, and I chopped it up into, uh, or I sliced it into thin slices like you do for cat, for um, coleslaw. And then I do a little, did a little chop again with it. So that's going to go into our soup mixture. So stay tuned for that. So our chicken here has, is in our pot and it's starting to brown. So that's the kind of brown that I like to have on my chicken pieces. I'm going to go ahead and give it like a little bell uh, here. Now I'm going to add 
I'm not going to drain this. I'm going to use the broth, not the broth, but the, the juices from the chicken. Just want to keep it in there. I'm going to go ahead and add some of our zest of lemon over this. And that's really going to boost up our flavors and seasons. You will see. Next, I'm going to add in the after you put in the zest of lemon on top of the chicken, you go ahead and add the rest of the ingredients, which is the onions and the vegetables, the peppers, mushrooms, and a little bit of the green onions because we're going to save the rest for garnish on top at the end for presentation. So I'm going to go ahead and add in our uh, vegetables now, and I'm going to show you in a minute. Okay, so before I put my cabbage in, and my broth, I'm going to show you how it looks now. So the vegetables that I'm using, besides the cabbage, is in the pot with the chicken and the lemon zest. We're going to go ahead and do my seasonings on here before I add my um, cabbage and my broth. I like to use a lot of garlic in my um, cooking. Garlic is good for you. And if you're not going out or whatever, just <laughs> use as much garlic as you can. Here I'm using Italian seasoning. I'm going to sprinkle my heart away in here. So you know you're going to add your seasonings to your liking. If you don't like pepper, then you don't have to put pepper. You can put something else. Also, what's good in here will be grilled chicken. Since it's summertime, we're almost near summer, you can um, grill up some chicken breast pieces and, you know, when they're done, just slice them up thin or small pieces to your liking and just put in here for your soup instead of frying the chicken or just boiling the chicken. Grilled chicken will be delicious in this soup mixture also. I'm going to add a little Celtic salt, not too much. With Celtic salt, you can just use a little, a little dab as they say, a little dab will do you. So that's my seasonings in here. I'm going to go ahead and mix this up again. Alright, got that all together as much as I can. I'm going to go ahead and add the broth in here before I put the cabbage. If you like a crunch to your cabbage, you don't have to put it in the beginning. Um, you can do that towards the ending. Maybe the last 15 minutes of cooking. Just put your cabbage in and let it simmer for 15 more minutes. And that will give it like a slight crunch. You won't, you know, overcook your cabbage. If you like it like that. So we put our broth in here. I'm going to go ahead and mix it up again. Now see, if I didn't fry my um, pieces of chicken, the broth would be much clearer. But since I fried it, you know, it gave it a little color. So, and that's okay. That's all right. And if you like creamy soup, you can add a little bit of heavy cream in this, and that will change the coloring of it and it'll make it creamier won't be as healthy but you know if you like creamy soups you can add some heavy cream to this so I'm going to go ahead and let this simmer for about 15 minutes and after that I'm going to put in my I'm going to let it simmer for about a half hour guys and then after that I'm going to come back and I'm going to put in the cabbage here this cabbage will go into the soup here and it'll cook for about 15 more minutes. And um, once that's cooking, the last five minutes of the cooking, we're going to add in our fettuccine noodles. I'm going to break these in half and then drop them into the uh, mixture here, the soup mixture. And that's going to be like the last mm, five to ten minutes of the cooking process. So um, I will be back again, and I'm going to show you the final presentation soon, so stay tuned for this. Okay, I, so I added the cabbage into the soup, 
and here's how it's looking. It's been cooking for about oh, five to seven minutes. So, I usually like it like this consistency. Next, I'm going to add the fettuccine noodles. And like I said, I'm breaking them in half. Oops. Just going to lay them on top. You don't have to add noodles or rice to your soup. You can just have it without. But um, I'm just giving this a little touch, a little fancy touch today. I'm going to put that much in there. Start with that much to see how it's going to turn out. I'm going to let this cook down for about five to seven more minutes and I'll be back with the final presentation of everything. And here we have the final presentation of our soup today which is the springtime soup. So if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to this channel Cooking with Alethea. I will be back next time with more cooking adventures and possible surprises. Have a good week everybody. Yum yum. Happy eating.